This segment is sponsored by GBMC Healthcare. Joining us now to talk about thyroid cancer is head and neck surgeon at the GBMC, Milton J. Dance Jr. Head and Neck Center, Farzad Mazrur. All right, so let's start with, are there several types of thyroid cancer? Because when I think of different cancers, I don't think of multiple types of thyroid cancer. Yes, there are several types of thyroid cancer. So the, the most common is something that we call differentiated thyroid cancer, and that's an umbrella term that encompasses multiple subtypes. You may have heard the term papillary thyroid carcinoma, follicular thyroid carcinoma, and, then, and others. And the second most common after differentiated thyroid cancer is something that we call medullary thyroid cancer. And the worst and the rarest and also the worst type of thyroid cancer is the kind called anaplastic thyroid cancer. And how common are those thyroid cancers? So the differentiated uh, thyroid cancers are very common. So in the United States, um, it's probably the fifth most common cancer in women. And there's upwards of about 60,000 new cases per year. And can you identify a few warning signs of thyroid cancer that should not be ignored? Definitely. So um, particularly uh, these warning signs can point uh, us to think that the cancer is a more aggressive type, type of cancer. But um, these, these would be, uh, you can imagine the thyroid gland sits right here. So a lot of patients may notice a mass or a bump here that's getting larger or, or it becomes more visible. Uh, the thyroid gland sits next to your vocal cords, sits next to your windpipe, and sits next to your esophagus. So you can have problems in those areas too, difficulty swallowing, difficulty breathing, or some patients may uh, notice a change in their voice. And can hyperthyroidism be a thyroid cancer symptom? Typically not. Um, you know, uh, most uh, thyroid cancers uh, are not what we call uh, hyper, they don't produce a lot of thyroid hormone. Uh, in fact, a lot of times hyperthyroidism is a reassuring sign that a thyroid nodule or something alike, uh, akin to it is not cancer. Uh, most, most, most of the time, cancers are not producing a lot of thyroid hormone. And how does thyroid cancer affect the body? Well, uh, thyroid cancer, um, most, most types of the differentiated thyroid cancer, uh, if it grows too big or it gets too large, it's going to affect structures that it's directly involving. So your uh, windpipe, your esophagus, or, your, or the, the nerve to the voice box. So you, patients may notice a change in their voice, difficulty swallowing, or difficulty breathing. Now, if the if thyroid cancer spreads beyond where it began in the thyroid gland, it can go to the lymph nodes in the neck, uh, which can be seen as you know bumps or lumps in the neck. And uh, uh, very rarely, it can go to other parts of the body, like the liver, the lungs, or, or bones, uh, and produce symptoms there, too. Thank you so much for your time and your wealth of information, doctor. OK, thank you.